everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm here to do something slightly different and I've been really, really excited to do this one. Today I'm going to be doing my Q&A for reaching one year of Sims videos on this channel and to also do a Q&A for reaching 700 supporters. Now, let's talk about the, the 700 first. Now, this is something that I never really expected to reach this quickly um, and I, I just can't believe it still. I hit this like a couple of weeks ago, uh, maybe about a week or two now and um, I'm just I still can't believe it. It's absolutely amazing to reach this. Thank you to all 700 of you who have been supporting and watching my content and, you know, just supporting me through this journey. I'm having so much fun. And 2017 is going to be a great year for my channel. I've got so many things coming up and I'm going to be talking about some of those things today, part of the Q&A. So let's get started with this. Um, so I've got about 15 or so questions from a range of different places like YouTube comments, um, Twitter and the Sims Amino app. So let's get started. So we're going to start with the YouTube ones. The first one comes here from Famestar6 and this say do you like k-pop by the way i love your channel well thank you so much and uh, do i like k-pop well not really it's not really my like genre really that i like um but i mean i have listened to like one or two songs a long long like not a long long time ago but maybe like a year or two ago um i came across a song like my just i heard somebody talked about it and i was like okay i listened to it i mean that's like i don't like that song but that's like the only k-pop song that i actually listen to and it's called like G or something I don't even know but I, I, that's all I know it's called G or something like that um so I don't really like k-pop music but that's the only one I heard and to be honest I didn't really like that either so the second question today comes from Tyran McGinley I hope I'm saying that name right and they say do you live in Britain <laughs> sorry it's in full caps and uh, that's okay and um, yes I do actually I live in uh, like a city called Newcastle well just like on the outside of that um and yes yeah, so I come from Newcastle the next question comes from P.S. Freeman um, and they ask what was your first sim character in The Sims 4? Now I can't really remember but I have this, I was kind of like thinking about this and the only thing I can think of was when I started, um, it's in my Collins family game save, um, it was you know Zoe who's Anya's friend, well it was in that household, um, I actually called my name Thomas but um, I was going to start like this, was, I think that was the first one I made and I thought oh I might do my sim self but it didn't turn out like that, I started it and I'm like that's too hard and then I still have my name and all those like traits and stuff picked um but i think that was the first person so it's in um zoe's household zoe patel but you know she changed her name anyway you'll see more about that in my collins family let's play so the fourth question today comes from a friend sage and they ask how did you gain the courage to become a youtuber as someone who's always been on the self more <laughs> on the more self-conscious side i could never imagine myself able to put myself out there so thanks to your question sage you know i actually was very very shy and i actually started youtube back in 2010 um doing like not since video it was just like technology and product reviews that sort of stuff a bit random compared to what I do now um, and I used to like really enjoy that but then you know, I used to get comments from people at school and things like that and then that kind of like knocked my confidence a bit um, but you know I started like just to ignore that and I just really really enjoyed it and the more videos you do I think the more um, the more less conscious of yourself you become if that's the right word to put it uh right, right word to put it right way to put it as i'm supposed to say um and yeah if you compare it to like videos which i used to make like when i started this channel i used to sound like so monotone and like i used to be hi everyone thomas here and welcome back to another video it was just so cringy watching them back but now i feel like i'm a bit more confident in things in my video videos <laughs> and um i think that's just from the support once you start making videos you'll start getting supporters and you know they'll encourage you like they are for my 700 supporters which I'm really thankful for and they just make me continue to make videos. The fifth question today comes from Mariam Akinpello, I think that's how you say her name, I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but they ask, what's your favourite series on your channel? So, at the minute, I'm kind of been thinking about this, uh, probably between two, either my City Living LP or my CC shopping videos. Now, the City Living one is just something that I'm really, really enjoying at the minute. Um, well, actually, I'm enjoying all my series on my channel, or series <laughs> on my channel, because, um, well, I wouldn't make any content that I don't like, um, but, you know, that City Living really stands out at the minute it's just something the storyline that I've, I've just never really seen that before and it's something that I'm like I'm surprised I could even think of um, it's just I think it's very in-depth and I just really really enjoy making sick living videos and my other series is probably um, CC shopping videos like I said because it's just something that a lot of you like to watch it's just something relaxing you know not as professional I guess you could say it's just you know bit I don't know <laughs> I don't know how else to put it it's just a nice relaxing type of video to make and um, but if I had to really pick between one of them it would probably be city living 
given. The next question comes from Leah Lewis and they ask, how did you find out about The Sims? Now, um, this is probably from X Urban Sims X, um, aka Jenny here on YouTube. Um, I just started watching her videos and that kind of got me into it. Um, and you know, it just started from there and it, like now I'm starting to do my videos and she's just such amazing help. She's just a really good friend. She helps me so much with my channel, just giving me tips and uh, she even made my channel banner for me. Like I was just going to bed one night and I got a message from her and she just sent me a new channel banner I was really surprised about and just really happy with and you know she just gives me some million tips and different things like that. I actually bought my um, new Gavix card for my videos from her as well uh, which is going to really really improve the quality of my videos and just she just does so much for me and I really really appreciate it. So it's probably from Jen as well who I found out about The Sims. Now we're going to move on to the Twitter questions and the first one today comes from Electric Playground and they ask how have you had your channel sorry how long have you had your channel and what advice do you have for people oh my god I can't speak today let's start that one again how long have you had your channel and what advice do you have for growing it so I've had my channel since the 1st of October 2013 uh, that's this channel but I've had my like my first channel I made on uh, May the 2nd 2010 and um, I don't make videos on that channel anymore I've had like channels in between that as well but this one 1st of October 2013 and then I actually started making sims videos um, on the 29th which is tomorrow um, 29th of December 2015 I mean um, and and yeah, so that's how long I've had my channel. And what advice would you give Kagune? Um, I would just say be consistent and, you know, just, that. I think that's the most important thing is being consistent, uploading content every, once a week at least. I do like mostly every day, um, but I'm gonna have an update video in the beginning of January about, more about that actually. Um, so yeah, just being consistent, interacting with people and things like that. So Electric Playground as well, she has a really, really good channel and you know, we've been talking quite a bit actually on Twitter a couple of, maybe about a week ago about this sort of thing and you know, she's a really good supporter of my channel and I really recommend you go and watch her videos because she is very consistent. She makes a lot of different Sims videos as well. So make sure you head over to her channel as well. Now the next question I've already answered but I just thought I'd point it out anyway. This was from Crystal Things. Thank you anyway for your question. Um, but like I said, I've had my channel for, um, for about a year now and my favorite type of video to make, like like I said earlier was Sims City videos, Sims City, what? Sims City, <laughs> that's a different game, uh, City Living videos or my CC shopping series. And the last question from Twitter comes from Teacup Simmer and they ask, why did you decide to do YouTube? Now that's probably because I've just loved The Sims game in general and I thought, well, why not make videos about what I'm playing on my Sims, what creative Sims I'm doing, uh, just talking about my current households and things. That's how my, my Collins Family Let's Play started. Um, and you know, that's, that's probably why, just because I'm really passionate about the game. Now we're moving on to Sims Amino questions and this first one comes from Panda Bear 101 and they ask, do you like pizza? And of course I do. Um, now I don't, well, it's weird because, oh, sorry, just smack my microphone like I normally do in every single video. Um, uh, it's weird because I don't really like cheese that much. <laughs> um, I just, I don't know why, when I was little, I used to like it and then I just went off it. And I'm starting to get back <laughs> into it. Um, but you know, it's just, it's, I don't know, cheese on pizza is okay, but not too much of it. Um, like my type, favorite type of pizza, I don't know, probably like, oh, I don't know. If we're like talking about Domino's, then probably like Mighty Meaty or Texas Barbecue. Just something like that sort of thing, really, like chicken or something like that on it. Um, but yeah, that's, I do like pizza. <laughs> this next question comes from Ibrahim Simmer and they ask, what's your favorite, well, this has got a couple of questions. What's your favorite townie? Um, I'll probably have to say, Babs and more because that's, you know, one of my big uh, current households that I've had in the past. What's my favourite expansion pack, stuff pack or game pack from any game? Well, I've only really played mainly The Sims 4. I mean, I have played The Sims 3, but not as in much detail, is that even the way to put it, um, as The Sims 4. So, in The Sims 4, my favourite expansion pack is probably... Oh God, well, it's, it's between get together in city living i'm probably going to see city living because you know that started one of my favorite um let's plays on my channel so i probably have to say that in terms of game packs i would probably say let's see probably spa day because the items in there are just so modern it's just a nice feel to all those different objects in game that i really really like i know the spa is something that i don't really take my sims to a lot of the time but it is a nice addition to the game and for stuff packs now there's so many of them i can't even think let's see so Vintage Glamour is a good one. Um, let's, oh god, I'm like trying to think of all of them like quickly now. My favourite stuff pack is probably, I would say, 
kids room stuff I don't know why that's just a really nice addition to the game I think kids in the game aren't really you know focused on that much so it was a nice addition to that um, my favorite sims game probably the sims 4 of course of course <laughs> can't speak and um, my dream collaboration um probably say with XM sims literally just because of the reason of how she's even got me into this game we were actually gonna collab a little while ago um on the Christmas cabin or the the home alone create sim I did um, but we're just you know schedules busy and things so we didn't get a chance to do that but that was gonna be a collaboration but you know we may do one soon my best sims memory that would probably be when I actually made my first creator sim like I said earlier that was when I was making my um, old current household with the person I was trying to make me of but it totally failed that one my first sim that I ever made and that's probably my first sims memory I can just remember that very vividly making that household and um, my best memory from your channel or sims amino Um, my favorite oh I'll probably say Oh god, I can't even think. Um, let's see, for my channel, it would probably be when I hit 400 subscribers, because that was like the first time I hit the milestone like that from making Sims videos, so I'll probably say that. It was very memorable. I did a Q&A back then as well for that. And for Sims Amino, probably when I hit... 10,000 followers because that was you know a big thing a big number and um, you know going into five digits and Just everybody on the Sims Amino is so nice I've met so many nice friends and I'm also on the staff team and you know It's just a really nice place to be um, and my favorite aspect of the game for Sims 4 um, I'll probably say the graphics. I mean, I don't know if that's a, like a proper thing to say But like graphics they're just so good in the Sims 4. It's unbelievable I mean if we didn't have loading screens, then I think I love the game a lot more <laughs> The next question comes from the Toxic Turkey and they ask what inspires you to make Sims? Now, I don't know if that means Sims videos or like, like creator Sims. Um, well, for creator Sims, it's like maybe if I come up with a backstory that I've had and I just kind of make notes of things. What I do sometimes is like I just randomly be thinking of things and I, maybe I've watched a, like a program or something on TV and I think, oh, I can make a backstory from that. Um, the way to tell if I have like a proper backstory for Sims on my videos is if the create a sim video has their name in the title that's generally meaning it's just about that backstory if it's something else like i don't know say my santa's little helper create a sim i did with dazzling simmer and um, that's kind of like a themed one which i don't really have a backstory for um but you know just looking on tv and things and watching other people's videos as well but if you're talking about sims videos then that's just um support for my supporters and um, you know they just encourage me so much just talking to people about different videos and things that sort of thing and that really inspires me to make more the next question comes from Ella X Leia. <laughs> I don't know how to say the last bit of her name. Sorry about that. And um, they say, congrats on 700. Thank you so much. What got you into The Sims? Now, like I said earlier, it was from uh, Jen. Um, but, you know, I just really, really like the game anyway. It's something that I've been playing for a little while. Um, and, you know, just playing it in my spare time. And I thought, well, why don't I start making videos about this? Because this is something I really enjoy. And um, so I just thought it'd be a good genre of videos to make. The next question comes from my best friend, Mel. And they ask, number one, do you love me? Of course I do, Mel. Um, and the other questions are, what made you get into The Sims, which we've already talked about? How long have I been playing? Well, that's probably from about 2011 or so. Um, I remember getting The Sims 3, and I just, I only have the base game of Sims 3. That's probably really, really shocking to you, but I actually only have the base game of Sims 3 because when I got it, I wasn't really a huge fan of The Sims. I just really liked playing that. The base game was fine for me. And then I kind of just went off it for like over a year. And then I got back into it and then, you know, I started playing more and more and more, and then The Sims 4, and that carried on like that. So that's probably that. Um, that last bit didn't make any sense. Anyway, <laughs> what's your favourite household to play with? Um, I'm probably going to have to say my Collins family, because that's something that I've been playing since I got The Sims 4. Um, and, you know, that's turned into one of my big LPs on this channel. Um, next question is, any upcoming changes to your channel? Now, I actually have an update video coming up in, probably be up on January 2nd. I haven't actually recorded that as of today, but I'm hoping it'll be up around January 2nd um, and I'm just going to be talking about um, you know things that's happened into my channel recently and things like that also have a couple of questions that I could actually really appreciate if you could answer in the comment section but I'll talk about more of that in the video because I haven't actually told you the questions yet um, so I actually have another thing coming up on my channel which I'm like oh god I'm so excited for I've been planning it for uh, over two months and um, it's not gonna last long but it's just something um, 
Oh, I'm, I don't want to ruin it at all, so I'm not going to say anything more about that, but you will be expecting something probably sooner than you think. And that is it for the q and I really hope you enjoyed this video because I had a lot of fun making it. Thank you to everybody who has been submitting questions. If you have questions for a future, you know, video, um, which I might do in the future, <laughs> then you can start submitting questions all the time, really, just in any comments um, section of any of the videos, or you can even go on Twitter and use the hashtag AskThomasTV uh, for my next creator some video, I don't know, next Q&A video um, and even just on my Sims Amino or X Sims, Sims X Amino just on my wall or my latest post whatever I see all my comments anyway um, and there's more social media links all below where you can find out more information about that so thanks again for reaching 700 subscribers I really appreciate it I have so much more content coming out next year I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you leave a like comment share and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you all next time bye